give me some more, give it to me what you got, bitch, get on the floor. Hi fragrance friends, welcome to the Nose Nose, it's Daniel. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. I post new videos every Sunday and Thursday. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, right down there. That will be awesome. Thank you. So today, this video is more of a vlog and it's about my journey from growing up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Amish country, and when I went to New York City and became a club kid. So you can see here, this is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I actually took this picture in July of 2014. And this is a pretty typical picture of Lancaster County, what it looks like. There's cows, there's fields, there's small roads everywhere. There's lots of Amish. It's a very peaceful, quiet area. Um, and a lot of the people are very conservative and, you know, normal. So I went to school for theater in New York City. I lived in Manhattan for several years. And when I graduated and I was in the city, I sort of had a quarter life crisis. Everyone talks about midlife crisis. Well, quarter life crisis, they exist and they're real. I had one and this whole period in my life after graduating from theater school and not really knowing what exactly I was going to do with my life, what you're about to see is how I, I expressed that and figured it out. So here's a picture of me at the club with my blue mohawk. My best friend Andy is on the right. He's in the purple pants and the gold chains that he made himself. He makes chain pieces on Etsy. This is us with some friends at a club outside. So we went to these great parties all the time in the summer of 2012. And we got really inspired by our time there and we actually started creating music based on the party. So here you can see this is a picture of our first EP called Pterodactyls on Parade. <laughs> and we started to create songs. The one playing behind me right now is called Van Damme and it was actually inspired by one of the parties we would always go to. And at these parties people would show up and they would always have new looks. A lot of the people that go to these are in fashion, or they're designers of some sort, or maybe makeup artists. So everyone's always showing up with a new look, kind of, to see who is the most creative and who has the best look. So this is what I was really proud of. I took red pigment and did it all over the face, and I was wearing this black straight jacket with these leather gloves, and it was a really cool look, and it was a lot of fun. It was also really fun to ride the subway. You would get the craziest looks from people, and people would always be like, can I take a picture with you? Like, oh my god, this is so cool. And that was really fun. Here's a shot of me mid-party going at it. I had that blue mohawk. And I did have a day look. If I wasn't feeling the uh, the tall mohawk, I would wear the hair down just like this to the side. Kind of a casual look. This next picture is one of my favorites. This is with Amanda LaFour, who is a nightlife icon. She's been doing it since the 80s and she's still doing it strong. She hosts parties all over the world and she's super sweet. We took this at LeBain in the Standard Hotel in New York. There's a hot tub inside of the club, so it gets pretty crazy with people taking tops off and doing all sorts of crazy things. And as the summer wore on, Andy and I got more serious about our band. And here's a photo shoot that we took that I really like this shot. It's from a rooftop. Probably my favorite moment with the band was meeting Alana from Toddlers and Tiaras, Honey Bean Child. We had this really strange obsession with her and we wrote a song about her and I'm gonna post the link. If anyone wants to go see the original music video that we did for her, it's there. I just look back at this look with this crazy hair and these necklaces and the person I was then and I look at myself now and then I look really far back at Amish country and growing up Christian and it's just really crazy where life takes you and how you go through all these different periods and obviously I have calmed down quite a bit. I'm not quite um, as eccentric as I was, so there's nothing wrong with that. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying this vlog. This was a little bit different than what we normally do, but I'm going to always be coming out with new skincare products, new fragrance reviews, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get the latest in all these products. Also, I'm on Instagram and Snapchat at nmbeautyguy. That's Neiman Marcus Beauty Guy. If you want to contact me, I will definitely respond. I love answering questions and I love connecting with my subscribers on all those platforms. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.